All right, welcome back. Um, like I stated in the last episode, I already went ahead and did the gate, so you guys don't just sit through it. Um, so yeah, let's head to Halloween Town. This is Halloween Town, right? Well, it sure does look like Halloween. Wow! Yeah. Hey, it's Zero. How have you been, boy? What's that for? It's Jack! <laughs> Sora, Donald, and Goofy! Welcome back! And Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Don't you mean Happy Halloween? Of course! Halloween greetings from Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King! Forgive me, I'm in a Christmas mood. You see, I'm running the show again this year, but I need Sandy Claus' blessing, so I'm off to Christmas Town. Sandy Claus? I think he means Santa Claus. Aren't these decorations wonderful? This year, Halloween Town's going to handle Christmas, too. But first, we have to visit Sally. She's working on something no self-respecting Santa Claus can do without. Come along, I'll show you. A Halloween Town Christmas. Wanna go check it out? <laughs> Come on, hurry! Hello, Doctor. Where's Sally? Can't you see that I'm in the middle of an experiment? Hey, this is way too heavy! And you'll be sorry. Now bring it over here. He no! oh. <sighs> <laughs> 
Imbeciles! Now my experiment is ruined! <laughs> Sally, did you finish it? I want to show my good friends. I'm sorry, Jack. I... I need a little bit more time. Oh. Well, that's all right. Just as long as it's ready for Christmas. But, Jack... I'd best be off. I've got to go get Sandy Claus right away. Wonderful to see you again. Goodbye for now. Go get Santa Claus. Please, Sora. I'm afraid something terrible will happen if Jack goes through with this. You can try that again. Sora? Are those strange-looking fellows in the town square with you? Huh? What fellows? You know, the ones who wanted to spoil Halloween and Christmas? What are they called again? Heartless? They're definitely not with us. But Donald, Goofy, and I can get rid of them for you. And then we can go see Santa. But first, the Heartless. Alright, I don't want Jack in the party. Um, I might give it to Donald. Yeah. Uh, we also got Finishing Leap. Nice. Do we get something new? Oh yeah, summon boost. Uh, we're fine for now. Jack is a really good teammate that we have access to right now. We also did get a new keyblade, but... We're not going to equip that yet. Well, ever, actually. Let me see, did we get the Keyblade? Monochrome? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, we might never use Monochrome. Um, actually... <clears throat> yeah, we're good for now. Official, I can't handle this by myself. Jack, we're on it. All right, so these guys do hurt, but uh, we should make quick work of them. Come on, get up. I'm actually gonna summon Chick a little here. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Oops, I did not mean to dismiss. I meant to access my magic. That was a waste of gauge. Also, my PC is running a little bit low on storage. Hopefully this video gets through. It should. But uh, hopefully everything is working. What should we bring along next time? A bucket full of caterpillars! Or something even worse!
that, some old hag? Silence. A witch? Hmm. Perhaps you three could be of use to me. Come along, all of you. I'll show you the true meaning of mischief. All right, bodyguards. Christmas Town is this way. The doorway is in the woods just past the graveyard. Alright, so hopefully we get our gears back fast, because I kind of wasted it by accident. Oh, I do have to do some customization in the menu. I don't want Blizzard anymore, I want Thunder right here. Town. The spooks of Halloween can get so tiresome year after year. I wanted something new, and I found this. Beyond this door is a world filled with wonders the likes of which you've never seen. At first, I couldn't believe my eyes. Everything was so fresh and exciting. Come on, just open it. In his workshop. Shall we? Ooh. I love the fact that the outfits get changed. Like, look at Sora's outfit in the bottom right, the little icon. Like, they just did such a good job. Oh, nice. This stuff gives 3 AP. This is 2 AP. Yeah. I'm gonna be equipping this. This is 2 AP. Is this good magic? No. I'm sure you can have that. Whoa, wow. Fear too? 
On guard, loyal bodyguards. Yeah, you can see Jack does a lot of damage. That's where Santa Claus lives. Ha. Yeah. This is also like a decent spot to level up some some forms because if you uh, shift here and then head up that way, it'll automatically revert you, and so yeah. your gauge gets maxed out. Yeah. So I remember coming here to level up a uh, master form. Chance, it's me, Jack. Jack Skellington. What sort of trouble did you bring this time? This time? It's a long story. Huh. Yeah. We have to hide. Silence. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. That fool Jack brought Sora and the others with him. Now we can deal with all of them at once. What do you want us to do? Who's there? Busted! Oh! It's Lock, Chalk, and Barrel. Not those three. I assure you they're not with us. Well, whatever the case, they've been quite naughty. Catch them and bring them back here. They're going to get a lecture. Uh, Mr. Claus, I wanted to talk to you about Christmas first. It'll have to wait. I need to see how things are progressing in my workshop. Come on, Jack. Let's catch those little pranksters. Oh, all right then. All right, this next part should be pretty simple. We just have to catch Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And the way we catch them is not just going over there and trapping them. 
We have to do something. What is going on over here? They were just juggling this guy. Alright, so watch. So I'm gonna transform into Valor for him. And over here should auto revert me. Yep. And max out my gauge. So it's not a bad spot to level up certain forms. Like you can come right here and fight these enemies, these heartless with wisdom form, and then walk right back in that door and get auto reverted. And just rinse and repeat. Christmas town, but now that Sora and those imbeciles are here, I think a change of plan is called for revenge before pleasure, after all. What kind of revenge? The magnificent, malevolent kind, of course. That sounds really bad. Like Oogie's kind of bad. And that's super duper bad. Oogie Boogie. That bag of incensed insects? Hmm. How intriguing. And where might I find him? Jack and his dumb, stupid friends destroyed him! Ah, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> More intriguing still. I believe I'll bring your master back for you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Lock, Sock, and Barrow is over there by the hill. Indeed you do, Ugi. Do you remember Sora, Donald, and Goofy? Do I remember them? Ha! You're too much! I'll never forget what they did to me! Uh, what was it they did to me? Squashed you like a bug! That sounds bad. And Jack helped! Even worse! They creamed you! That's right. That's right! That's one thing I won't be forgetting anytime soon! It's the last thing I remember! And it's the only thing I'll remember until I teach those clowns not to mess with Mr. Oogie Boogie! Yes, that's right. That's the spirit. And I have the perfect plan already in mind. Have you ever heard of Christmas Town? Mr. Oogie! Wake up! Wake up! We want to see how bad you are! <sighs> it seems he needs more time to recover. You three, stay here and keep Sora and the others occupied. My heart is with help you, but do not fail me. There they are. Stop them! Tie them down! Get them! Alright, so this should be a simple boss fight. I want to get in at least one combo. Eh? That's cool, that's what I want. Yeah. 
Oh, we got anti farm. I'll work with it. Anti farm is what happens when you use too many dry farms. And so you build up anti points and you get anti farm swords. Kind of like a punishment and a and a gift at the same time. Just because anti farm sword does so much. Now we should be able to finish it off with uh, dance club. This should do it. Not too bad. Found it and now I've lost my way. Oh, this is utter foolishness. I should be getting ready for Christmas. Is that you, Mr. Santa Claus? Yes, but please call me Santa Claus. Of course, Mr. Santa Claus. I was hoping I'd find you here. You see, it's very important that you go back to Christmas Town. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen if you don't. Well, I am behind on my preparations. All right, tell Jack I'll be waiting for him at home. He had something to say to me about Christmas. But that's just it. Please, go home and lock the door. And if Jack knocks, don't open it. There, the large one in red. All I gotta do is kidnap him? That's right. Lock him up at once. Then begin destroying Christmas Town. That's sure to make Sora and the other fools come running. And then they're all mine! Yes. And in the meantime, I'll turn Santa Claus into Santa Heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Who's there? <gasps> All right, now we gotta go rescue rescue Santa Claus. <clears throat> if you guys are having trouble with these fights, just feel free to copy what I'm doing. Um, and Or just don't forget that limit forms are pretty powerful. And uh, I mean limits are pretty powerful. And they only cost mana, right? So MP. And so what you do is you, you can use a limit form. And then as soon as the limit form finishes, go into a dry form such as valor or wisdom or if you get anti anti form then do damage once you revert out your mp will be full because when you go into a form it maxes it out and so you could just do that and then a couple combos in and the ball should be dead Wait, something's not quite right. I know what it is. We just need a little more of that boogie flair. I do hope our jolly old friend is looking forward to becoming a heartless. <laughs> Clumsy oaf! Are you still here? Why don't you oogie on back where you came from? You're crabbing my style! Have you already forgotten who brought you back, you insolent bag of bugs? Mm, sorry, can't remember a thing. 
Very well, you ingrate. You'll rue the day you spurn my help. Oh, I'm gonna save just in case anything happens. Alright, let's continue. Let's go help Sienta. I do want my drive gauge to be up there. I don't think I'll be able to get it to at least three before the fight. It's fine if we take damage or use magic. There's a save point inside the house. Yeah, no, we don't have enough drive. That's fine, we don't really need drive. planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mr. Santa Claus! Alright, so this should be a pretty simple fight. Both Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 had like a little gimmick. You had to do in order to hit uh, Oogie Boogie. This one is yet to hit presents into his little box up there. And I think the number is 12. 12 presents. Make sure you don't get hit by that little like fist. It does a lot of damage. Alright, so now he's down here. So now we can go ahead and hit. Now he's immune, so we have to wait for him to do his whole gimmick all over again. This time he should be shooting uh, lightning, I think. Or throwing heartless down here. Yeah, yeah, the bag has the heartless in it. So again, we're using the quick step we got from getting a wisdom form up to outrun the conveyor belts. Uh, 
Alright, so now he moved to the right, which we have to also follow him. And continue to get presents up there. There we go. Make sure you don't hit those spikes. Yeah, those spikes down there do a lot of damage. Just use quick run. Alright, now he's back into the center. Alright, I think I think it is 12 box uh, 12 boxes to break it because I think it's over here you get uh, four boxes. Each conveyor belt. So that's four, so he should turn now. Yeah, so it is 12 boxes. Now there's the lightning uh, that you do not want to get hit by. One, two. Oh, we got hit by a dice. Three. Wait for the fist. This should be four. Alright, this should be the last one. Two. It was getting close to the spikes, so I pushed forward. Three, this should be four. This should be it. There we go. Pretty easy fight. Christmas is safe again. Perfect. I'd better get down to business. <laughs> yup, you ought to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Dad. Wonderful! Why, I love it! Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? But I make a splendid Sandy Claus. Listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. And about that suit. Don't even think about taking over for me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I brought them makes it all worthwhile, year after year after year. And you, Jack, you love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King, the Knight of Nightmares. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Don't you see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. 
I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Jack! Oh, Jack! I've been looking for you everywhere. We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. Ooh. Oh! Jack, this is no time for joking. What's this? Perhaps a bit too festive for our Halloween needs. We better get going. Before you do, Sora, I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. He did say that. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I will, but... Do you know where I can find Riku? No, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him, just as you found me. Right. All right, we got an amazing magic spell, which is Magnet, which is going to come in handy a lot. That with Reflect are probably like the two best magic spells in this game, um, well, along with Thunder. Well, actually, yeah, all the magic is just amazing in this game. Um, yeah, but other than that, we're done here. Next, we're going to head to Travis Town. Well, not Travis Town, Twilight Town, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to end the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one